Yeah, no, that, that's a great question because this is what's been coming up a lot lately at my end. People are asking, well, what's the difference between natural law and common law? Right. So let me make it perfectly clear. When you, It's all part of the process that when you go into this public courthouse and you've got, I'm not just going and speaking. I should have clarified that. I'm going to have paperwork filed, right? Where I'm making the, the claim of genocide that Justin Trudeau does with my evidence. And then there's the questions that they get asked. So when I go into that public courthouse in that capacity, it's very important that people understand that you're not under the um, you're not under the processes that are in there for a legal system that are that are within that court. You're standing above it because when we came into this world, Gabe, God created man and woman, and then man and woman, we are the creators of this world. We are all equal under the law, under our creator's law. You know, the only part that I look to the Charter and Freedom of Rights, right? Again, it's a charter for a service corporation, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution. These are all pieces of paper that have no jurisdiction over a man or woman, unless you've consented to it, unless you're wet signatures on it that you've signed to it. And again, you can still rescind that if in any way or form something was kept from you, hidden, that caused fraud or caused you wrong or harm. So this is why people need to understand when we come into this world, Gabe, we have no paper attached to us. And that's the position that I stand in right now. Okay. It's not so much as a moral thing. We know the difference between right and wrong. And that's why the three powerful words I teach trespass property and who is that when you are dealing with any man or woman that trespasses against you, you have a right to move that claim claim, not a complaint, simple claim that Bob here broke my window or did something. I tried to settle with him on the private side. He wouldn't. I'm going to move my claim in court into that public courthouse. And when you move that claim into that courthouse, we are the highest law, the highest court of this land. The Supreme Court of Canada is just an arm of a service corporation, Canada. Remember, understand the hierarchy. Man and woman were born in this world, and then we went and supposedly created government. And then governments went and created our courts, police, justices. Then they created the legal person. See where you would stand in the hierarchy? If you, if you accept being this person in their world that's been created, then you have no rights, right? You are bound by all these you know, dictates that they've created for the policy for these corporations. But when you stand above that and you enter that courthouse in the correct capacity, the judges can't stand that. They're terrified of it because if you hold court, it would be the James court. My court, the law that gets brought in is the claim, actually the truth. That's what the law really is. It's the truth that you're bringing in against a man or woman that's trespassed against you. That's what the law is. And you're going to produce that evidence before a jury of your peers, and they will decide whether your claim be true or not. It's that simple. It's, but the problem is, is that we have the society that's operating in our public courthouses that has this process. I'm glad you brought this up because it's called, ready, the rules of civil procedure. 